Aloha, everyone. I'm Irmina Van Dyken, MD, from Out of the Doldrums. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health. I happen to be one of those frontline healthcare workers. With SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 turning the entire world upside down, we, as human beings, have to do everything we possibly can to prevent its spread. If you've seen other videos on this channel, it's no secret that I'm a huge proponent of every single person wearing a mask during this pandemic. I'm convinced it will drastically slow down the spread of COVID-19. One super important thing, though, is making sure we're all wearing masks correctly, the right way. There's concern that improper mask wearing can actually contribute to virus spread instead of protect us. So let's review proper mask wearing. It's important that you choose a mask that is the correct size for you and your face. There's different sizes of masks. There's even masks for children. There's different masks too. Some are disposable, some have ear loops, some have ties. Some have elastic loops that go behind the head. Some are made of cloth and meant to be washed and worn over and over again. The first step is putting the mask on properly. We start by meticulous hand hygiene. We wash our hands either with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if there's no soap and water available. Then we grab our mask and we examine it. We're looking for any obvious defects like holes or tears in our mask. Next, we have to determine which side is the top. This is the side that has the bendable wire meant to fold around your nose if you're wearing a surgical mask or an N95. Next, we have to determine which side is out and which side is in. Usually the outside is the colored or the patterned side. The white side will go against your face. After that, we have to get the mask on our face. Specific instructions for this may vary depending on the type of mask you have. Let's start with the mask that has ear loops. You hold the mask by the ear loops, then place a loop around each ear. Then you mold the bendable edge around your nose to match the shape of your nose. Last, you pull the bottom portion of the mask around your mouth and chin. Okay, let's move on to the masks that have ties. Bring the mask to your nose and place the ties over the crown of your head and secure with a bow. I used to think tying the mask behind my head in a perfect bow was quite difficult. Now it's a no brainer. It just takes a little practice. Next, you mold the bendable edge around your nose to match the shape of your nose. Then take the bottom ties, one in each hand and tie behind your head at the nape of your neck. Lastly, pull the bottom portion of the mask around your nose and your chin. The last type of mask is the type that has elastic. These are the ones that are the trickiest to put on and take off safely. So make sure you practice, practice, practice. Hold the mask open in your hands. Make sure the nose piece is at your fingertips and the bands hang loosely over your hand. Then bring the mask to your face, pull the top elastic over your head and let it sit at the crown of your head. Once you've done this, pull the bottom elastic over your head and let it sit at the nape of your neck. Okay, now that you have your mask on, you need to wash your hands. Then you're done and you're good to go. Once your mask is on, avoid touching the mask or your face while you're wearing it. Don't readjust it. If you have to readjust it for any reason, be sure to wash your hands before and after doing that. You have to consider the front of your mask dirty. Okay, so let's talk about how to take off your mask. The first thing you need to know, and we just talked about it, is you have to assume the front of your mask is contaminated. So avoid touching that area. Before you start taking your mask off, wash your hands. Let's start with the ear loop mask. Hold both of the ear loops, then carefully lift the mask away from your face. What about the mask with ties? Well, you start by untying the bottom bow first, then untie the top bow and carefully pull the mask away from your face. What about the mask that has elastic straps? You lift the bottom strap over your head first, then lift the top strap over while gently removing it from your face. Remember, with all these masks, it's crucial you don't touch the front of the mask when you're taking it off. Once you have your mask off, treat it as if it's contaminated. If it's disposable and you're throwing it away, throw it in the trash immediately, preferably in a garbage can with a lid. If it's a reusable mask, place it directly in the laundry if at all possible and wash on high heat or on sanitized mode. If you have a dryer, dry it on high heat. If you don't, hang it in the sunshine to dry. Get as much UV light on it as possible for maximum antiviral benefit. After all that, make sure you wash your hands meticulously as soon as you have rid yourself of your mask. If you're gonna be heat sterilizing your mask, 
put it in a paper bag so you can bring it to your oven without contaminating anything. We'll have a video coming up on this shortly, so stay tuned for that. I hope this video helps you out when it comes to mask wearing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and aloha.